Never Return is an action adventure RPG roguelite looter hack and slash. Uh, it is uh, a gem. I have been playing this now for, I mean, let me take a look here. I've been playing this now for eight hours um, and I want to keep playing. Like, I, I know I got to stop at some point and make a video on this, but I really want to keep playing. Uh, it is chock full of action, lots and lots of customization. Uh, we're going to go over uh, so many different facets uh, in the game. There's um, just layers upon layers. It, it's a low poly adventure. Uh, so at first glance, I was like, oh, another low poly game. Uh, but then when I got it and actually put the time into it, man, oh, God, it's just impressive. Just really impressive. Uh, Chinese developer. Um, Yi, uh, Yemu Network uh, and uh, the publishers Jump. Uh, these are both uh, they. This is the only game they have on Steam. Uh, there's a lot of translation stuff that you're gonna we're gonna run into. There's a lot of uh, uh, UI quirks and all that stuff. They have a roadmap. They're gonna be doing some of the stuff that I have complaints about, which is like the UI. Um, that stuff is gonna be revised sometime in this next month. But I want to wait a month because honestly, this is a game you guys should pick up now. It's $13.99, uh, and for that price, it's a fucking steal. Uh, so let's get in. I'm gonna show you guys. I have three characters here, and what I like to do is just kind of give you a brief. Um, uh, look at some of them their gameplay because each one I intentionally went through and each one is a little bit different So I have Zug Zug who is my uh, Titan grip uh, Which for those who don't know basically it's like he can hold two uh, two-handed uh, 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 Weapons uh, one in each hand. So that's pretty awesome uh, The throwaway count uh, mage you could see or some kind of magic wielder you can see over here. This is elementalist um, And then over here this fucking guy is like the ranger and such all of them very different gameplay styles uh and while while the game does have local co-op um they want to put in uh multiplayer online multiplayer uh which would make this i mean it would, it would make this just a fucking s tier game honestly um right now it's just local co-op so you'll do with that what you will uh let me see it does have a, a, a hardcore mode so you you will lose like for this little skull it just basically means that if this person dies then that's it they're out uh let me actually go ahead and get in you can see the left hand side you can see the soul history blah blah blah, blah all that stuff uh you'll all this stuff on the left will make sense as we go through uh soul stolen soul stolen it's basically kills and shit all right here we go so we're going with the uh, throwaway account and um uh, yeah, it, it does this for some reason. Just keeps on, <laughs> keeps on going back to windowed. So this is your starting area, your starting hub. Uh, you could choose to either go in here, which will start you at level one. You can walk out barracks floor one, but it's kind of silly to go that way because it's just like I will just cream everything. It's, it's fucking it's clobber it. It's no, it's no challenge whatsoever. Um, over here, this is where you see your abyss history. This is where. Everything you do, what's going to unlock these soul stones, okay? You, you, you go through and you'll you'll uh, kill X number of dudes and then boom, you get more soul stones. If you collect a bunch of soul stones, boom, you get more soul stones. Like, it, it's basically a huge list of things that you can do that's going to give you more soul stones. Uh, and the soul stones are used over here on your huge fucking POE style tree. Um... It's this is incredible. Try to look past all of the all of the constellation stuff and look at the actual drawings in the background. Like they put a lot of work into this. This is beautifully done. Uh, so you can see, like for example, if I go up to like what is it? I'm guessing it's like a necro or something like that, right? It seems pretty obvious. This is like probably more of a death style on um, the left side, and this side is all necro shit. See, summon skeleton. Yep, summon soldier. Summon knight. Bone wall, absolutely. Summon devil, oh, fucking cool. Avatar of undeath. Uh, and then we go over here. You can see, like, this is where one of my characters is kind of working his way up. Uh, crossbow and bows. So a crossbow here, and then a bow here. Like, just beautifully done. This artwork. Uh, and then, and then for them to link it all together with this uh, talent tree is just um, superb. Look at this sniper rifle here. Just kind of maybe a little out of place. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking 50 calendars right here now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so but you can you can spec all the way down. Abyssal storm when you land a non-critical attack reduces target's burn resistance by a blank. Um, 
And let me tell you, like, even though there's a million of these things, and it seems like, you know, you, you would think at first glance, it's like, oh, man, it's probably a bunch of useless ones or whatever. Like, yes, but also no. Like, once you start specking into these trees, like, your character really stands out from how, how other characters play. Um, so right now, I'm, I'm all the way up in here. The yellow lines are basically the guidelines to go to Elementalist route, which is what I chose. Uh, and you can see recommendation here. If I choose one of these things, it'll kind of give me some recommendations. Or you say no. Uh, I went the recommendations route because I wanted to see what their, uh, uh, how they want to set things, how they, um, uh, th how the classes kind of take form instead of messing with it. Uh, so yeah, that's death right there. Uh, over here, I can take and I can make runes, and then could, once I make runes, I combine these 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 shards that I get from enemies, and I combine make runes. And over here, I could go and I can install those runes. I don't have any to install here. Um, that's just basically socketing things. Okay. Now over here, this is your uh, your bag. Uh, and you can, oh sorry, this right here, you can salvage things and basically just grind it down, DE it, whatever you want to call it, uh, to turn it into resources. Uh, and then, uh, and then that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and go in. We're going to, we're going to go see if it's just draw to it. I'm heading straight down. So you enjoy a good challenge. Good. Where shall we been? I could go to floor 20. Now, because, uh, because I hit floor 20 on my main, it is unlocked from my alts. This game is very alt friendly because, uh, when you get in, just for example, if I make a new character, it's going to say, oh, you unlock floor 20. Boom. Soul stones. Bonuses, right? Tons of other bonuses for all the achievements that my predecessors did, which gives me a good first start. I'm hitting, I'm hitting level 7, level 8, like right when I start. I'm hitting level 15 super fast. Um, not floor. I mean like actual character level 15. Um, and it's just, it's just a really good system. Very, very alt friendly. Makes a lot of fun to go through and try different builds and all that stuff. Uh, let's go to floor 10. Uh, I don't know what this character is. Well, let's, go, let's go for 15. I think I'm pretty sure, certain I can handle 15. Um, this way you can see the gameplay style here. So here we go. Now the uh, the enemies and the oh, how do I play this character again? Uh, let me see. Okay, I have a couple of abilities here. All right, so I have a wand. Let's beat these guys up. Well, they take a few hits. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, so the little pickup right there, I can summon things, right? Uh, and I would recommend using your consumables because you get a lot of them. So just use them. Uh, all of this magic stuff you see floating all around me, this is unique. This character, I have fireballs around me. Some of them are poison balls. I guess I have no idea. Um, let's go around and collect a bunch of stuff. You see this loot everywhere. There's loot filters also. Oh, those are my guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was a big boy there. Hold on a second. Uh oh. Yep, we have. Let's go and get some more guards out here. There you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch. Uh, get my crit. Yeah, you just pick all this stuff up. Just, just use. Just use all of your damn, all of your damn um, consumables. Because there's just no point holding on to them. Even my healing ones. I have so much lifesteal. Uh, the healing ones are kind of useless. So they just pick all this stuff up. I, I think I'm just a little bit over leveled for this, but at least you get to see uh, how the character plays. Uh, now, let's take. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> so I've already got a ton of gear that I already picked up here. Uh, a lot of this stuff is probably going to arrange it. Uh, a lot of stuff I probably don't need. All right. Um, I haven't seen a way to move items from one character to another. I, I don't know if that's something that's coming or maybe I just missed it. Um, but yeah, I could go through and just a uh, magical torch when I stab. See Witherbark wand. This one's got better attacks. We'll go and swap to that. So we have a new wand. Um, at the bottom here, I can free up my mouse here. Uh, you can see there's frost ray. There's shield wall. There's uh, frost ricochet. These are skills attached to weapons uh, and items, so, so well, just basically held items. Uh, so this is the wand. The wand has these abilities, and then or this skill, and then these are these skills are attached to my shield. So because I'm using both, I get both of them available to me. Uh, I can hit G and swap out to. No, do I not have a? Uh, oh, I forgot to change that button. Um, no. Oh, I guess I don't have another, an alternate. Um, oh, I do. Yeah, it's my freaking book. What's up with that? Anyways, um. Why is that not, uh, let's see, mouse four? Oh, there it goes. Now it works. Okay, whatever. Uh, like I said, there's some weird quirks. Like, for example, sometimes, um, oh, I just want to get this out. Get some, get, there you go. Cast some spells. There are some weird quirks. Like, sometimes the UI doesn't show up. Um, and so what I'll have to do is, uh, is basically hit escape, go to settings, and then I'll be able to see the, uh, the, not the UI, but like the pop-ups. You see these pop-ups that come up on the right. Now, another thing, uh, there's a ton of pop-ups here. There's no way to turn these off. Uh, it's basically just, it just keeps leading me to the, uh, to, to their, uh, their codex to kind of teach you about the game. Uh, I have, I, I don't see anywhere to turn it off. I don't know if it's just, so you have to just deal with it. Every other thing I touch is going to be like, oh, this is this item. Check the codex to learn more. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just constant. Let's get these things out. There we go. Level 17. God, so easy. Oh, my things are out. Let's go ahead and switch. Oh, can't die because uh, this permadeath. <laughs> Electrocute 10 enemies. Surrounded. Shield. There we go. Okay, that didn't really do much. <laughs> Gonna get some guards out. More guards. Fresh guards. Oh, we're good. Change forms here. Go and get back out. God, there's a lot of stuff here. Holy crap. This is a good loot run. Jeez, this is crazy. Now there's a lot of stuff that I'll probably end up just chilling here on the ground because I already have, like, I'm full of resources, like I said, uh, of consumables. And so, again, um, use your consumables because you will get plenty of them. I have six. I have, oh my god, I have six knights waiting for me. This is stupid. <laughs> the game's really just giving them away, man. I got a cloak. Ooh, I wonder if that's any good. So go through a few floors like this, and then at once that you see the T at the bottom, middle, the center there, that is um that's basically just an indicator or a, a, a cooldown that allows me to hearth back to my to that hub that we started off at. Oh, there's a bunch of guys here. We gotta we gotta go fast because he's gonna start calling more. Throw the shocks out. Yep, these guys right here. Let's see if I could do some work. Yeah. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, we'll talk to that in a second. Not right now. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, unless... Okay, good. Everybody's dead. All right, so this is really important. Pay attention to the prayer menu here. Uh, as you see, I have a bazillion things already. God, what a crazy loot run. Um, if I have something, if you have something that you really like and you want to keep in case you die. Now, it doesn't matter for this character because this character is going to die. They're, they're just done. Um, you're going to want to pray on it, right? So you put this here and you say, okay, 266. You say pray. And now that thing is bound. Only one item per statue. Okay. Um, when you die, random pieces of gear just fall off of you, and it sucks. Because then you, because if you lose, like, let's say, your bow or something, or your weapons, and then you don't have any more, um, uh, you know, anything to replace it, then you're going to have to uh, uh, start over. Not going to start over, but go to a lower level that you could kind of melee your way through. Um, or if you have summons or something like that, you could use those. Here we go. We're going to summon a boss here. I wonder if I have any nightmare stuff. Nope. Not enough. Chaos. Got nothing. Endless. Oh, yeah. I don't think Endless is added yet. I think it's coming soon. Um, oh, I don't even have enough to do that. No. Uh, there we go. So this is what I could summon here based off of the runes that I quick added into it. Um, I haven't really studied these to see if I do like different combinations of each one. I imagine if I put the same one in, it'll probably limit the, uh, the or probably change, limit the scope. So if I say, you know, add and then add, I'm betting it probably trims this down to give you a more percentage chance for certain things. I, I, I haven't really figured this part out. Um, I haven't figured this part out. Eight hours! I still have so many things I, have to, I haven't learned from this. Oh boy. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get some of these frost boys out. Just slow them down. Hit him with that. Just change it up. Switch weapons. Get some of these guys out. Whoa! Okay, let's actually let's get some help. Keep rolling, keep rolling. How does that work? Hold on a second. How does this work? Let me see. It says, uh, someone's going to behind the target. Oh, okay. Behind the target. Got it. I'm going to do some melee here. Got to break that shield. Let me switch weapons again. Can I switch weapons once on cooldown? Sure can. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're pushing him around right now. That guy's a good guy, by the way. The one hammering. Hammering away. We need to talk to him in a minute. Summon some more. Let's see what else do we have. Some bombs. Oh! Just gotta break that shield. Once we break that shield, we could be there. We go. Now he's down, down state. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. Now I'm still a little, I'm still a little, um, over leveled for this. It seems. Damn it. <laughs> I was gonna try to finish him off all with style and everything. He jumps over it. Lord Killer, I got achievement. Oh, I didn't even notice this thing went freaking. <laughs> it just keeps on going to window mode. I've just been playing in window mode. Look at all this crap I can't pick up. Because I'm full. I'm totally full here. Let me see. This is better than what I currently have. And then uh, I'm not gonna worry about changing weapons or anything out yet. What I'll do is oh, that's pretty good. Um let me see. There doesn't seem to be any doesn't need to be any bonus or anything like that to having different types of uh 
Like I have, a, I have a knight helm as a mage, basically. It doesn't seem to matter, um, the actual uh, type. So what I'll do is I'll just quick input here, and this is this is the way it goes. Like you kind of quickly skim over your gear, and then you just one click input, get rid of it. One click input, and look at this the, the stack of resources that I'm getting to later use to make other things. Um, do, do, do. Not necessarily craft weapons or anything. Level twenty, bam. Hey, that's pretty good. Do you see how quickly you, you level up? It's pretty crazy. I think the max level is uh, is sixty. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let me see. What do I have? Two handed katana. Ooh. Let me see. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Level twenty. Big old hammer. Uh, <laughs> hey, look at a saucepan. <laughs> That'd be good backup. Um, Frankly, I think just by all this stuff I could get rid of, except for the shield. I want to put that shield. Um, let's see, 25, 23, crit chance, uh, reflect damage, uh, damage reduced by 18% while blocking. Yeah, there's just active block, which is pretty sick. Um, let me see. I never use it, by the way. <laughs> A bone. Oh, it's a one handed sword. Nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and take all of this. And then again, I'll just go ahead and uh, equipment decomposition, then one click input, salvage. And then it's done. And so now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the beginning, uh, level 20. Uh, we, we didn't really we didn't really make a lot of headway in terms of like going through floors and all that stuff What I will say is that every five floors it changes biomes, right? Okay again. It's going windowed um, It changes biomes. Let me take the settings real quick. Uh, and so See window no, freaking full screen. Let's go full screen. See if that probably probably is gonna kill the recording It did nothing cool um, Let me see I have 10,759 uh, I'll go over here what is this? Let's see. Defeat the Death Lord. Yeah. Heal for 10,000 HP. Yeah. Uh, throw 20 bombs. No problem. Use 100 items. Inflict. Yeah. Just, just, you basically just go through and you're just like, cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. <laughs> and then, yeah, now you have 12,000 soul stones. Isn't that great? And you could go over here and then you can unlock these things or unlock more. I have seven souls, seven talents to spend, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, and I can continue to work my way up into, into this tree and then put more points into each one. So the way it works, again, um, and just kind of more clarity on this. Uh, let's, let's see uh, if I want to get up here. Okay, I would just basically go uh, see it requires. Oh, oh, this requires the uh, ritual fusion. I don't have that. Hmm. Let me see. This requires nothing. Okay, so I could probably go around this way. And by the way, you could reset this and just get them all back later. Let me see. Anything? Nothing requires an, an item. Nope. Good. Okay, so I'll go boom, boom, and then boom. When attacking while equipped with a staff, you have a. Oh, this is not really something for me. But anyways, let's go and throw it in anyways. So you can see. Um, when you get it in, when you unlock it with a talent point, that just unlocks the square, right? Then you could dump points into it. So if you like something, let's say like when you flip burner stone on a target, you have a 22% chance of summoning a fire or frost hydra, hydra which deals 54% damage per attack. Uh, and then you can see the, the what's in parentheses is what it would increase by. So I could sit here and just keep stacking, keep stacking. You can see it's eating up my soul stones. I could, I could probably max this out. So here we go. Now we're at 42%. Well, 40% and 90%. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. So that again, this changes the landscape of how this character plays, um, and so you, it's something that uh, sets. I mean, like if you look at this tree, like there's so much here. The gameplay styles between all of these different trees as you go down them is is just remarkable. There's just so many different ways you can play. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to select character, and then we'll go. We'll we'll hop in as my uh, as Zug Zug. Um, get in here. Uh, if you're a PoE player or like a Diablo seasonal player or something, like you could definitely get down on a game like this. Like it's just, it's so good. Let's go ahead and go to uh, floor 20, heading straight down. Um, you could really challenge. Here we go. So yeah, every five floors, like I said, every five, uh, five floors, it will change uh, biomes on you. Uh, but it does sometimes. Sometimes it does feel like it gets repetitive. Um, as I'm going down some of these. Yeah, look at this guy. It's just completely different gameplay style. Um, as as you are going through the five floors that you need to complete in order to lock the next stage, very very uh, 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 Stardew Valley esque. Um, then you are you're kind of seeing the same rooms and the same mobs in those five floors. So sometimes it feels a little repetitive. I'd like to see a little bit more tiles, a few more tiles added. It is early access, so I could expect that's probably going to happen. Um, let me go break this. There we go. I love how he carries this shit. He does have a, a strong attack with this. Let me see if I can line him up here. Uh, it's pretty good. It's basically just a nice two-handed like that. And of course, I have access to all of their skills. And like I said, you want to use them. Uh, I've been bad at doing that uh, here, but you want to use them as, as, man, as much as you can because you're going to replace these weapons and then those charges is like, well, I could have used them, but you didn't. Um, so yeah, it just makes sense just to go ahead and just use the damn things as often as you can. Okay, here we go. So you can pray here or, ooh, here we go. This is the dark one, dark prayer. This will basically, you trade in stones for, um, 
for a chance to have items drop, overlord items, which I think is the, like those rune things that you could use to uh, to craft stuff. Prayer menu. Um, let's go ahead and put my uh, my prudent massacre ore. <laughs> Uh, put that in here, pray on it. There we go. And we gotta put it back on before I forget. Boom, boom. And then we go back to work. Yeah, I, I could very, I could tell already, I could very handily make my way to, uh, to, uh, the fifth. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I was gonna say to floor 25, but we're not gonna do that right now. Greetings, mortal. The translucent ghost gives you a bow. Who are you? You're the only ghost that hasn't attacked me on sight. I'm just a poor traveling spirit that's been trapped here by the curse of death. This circle of power, its strength kept me tethered to this world, but it's trapped me here too. Can you help me? All you need to do is gather some soul energy from a few ghosts, and I'll be able to leave this place. They're all lunatics. Okay. As long as you free me, I'll definitely reward you. She looks at you expectantly with a pitiful state about her. Uh, let me see. I have no idea what... Con okay, sure. You're truly kind of person to hardly wait. Her eyes flicker uh, to and fro... Okay, so see, delve deep into the dungeon. No, what is her what is her task? I wonder. Ah, right, let's go. Maybe it's going inside go inside of here and wreck shit. We'll find out. Oh, I'm back out. I'm back out. Ghost core. Oh, ghost core. Okay. Okay. Surprise them to do that. Go more ghost cores. Alright, so she wants ghost cores. I'm going to grab this. Loot. Loot, loot, loot. Whole game. Loot, 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 loot. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Here to speed things up a little bit. The cat goes fast. Okay, well, look, guy's got shield up. Come on now. Just die already. <laughs> this one's blue, which means there's a blue thing in here somewhere, I guess. Now, this gem right here, um, an actual in-game gem. I'll just pick up these stupid boots. Oh, never mind. Uh, this will spawn. It's basically a wave base. It's very, very, very fast. And the faster you kill things, the more things will spawn. Uh, and then the higher, I think the higher, the, 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 the higher kill count, the better the reward might be. Maybe. Whoa, there's a lot of dudes. Well, it's five at once. That's good. Let me go and charge up an attack. Do some work there. Get another spawn. Good. boots <laughs> yeah the ui overhaul i don't know what they're doing with it but i'm sure it's gonna be better than this beautiful look at that oh shit 30 well this is the highest i've ever done that's the highest i've ever gotten by a long shot oh, oh oh who are these guys hit him with my aura of truth there we go get out of here wow what do we get here I've never been that much. Let's see. Whoa! This is... Oh, legendary. Okay, yeah. Your next basic attack is a combo hit, and the damage from your next attack is increased by 14.6 from your previous attack for 30 minutes! Uh, deal 42.5% damage to surrounding enemies every two seconds. Damn, see? Even that's awesome. Or... Or I can give up, and I can... Uh, um, I can give it up, and then I get 650 soul stones. But I don't really need that. Let's do this. This is... Get stronger and stronger as we go. How's that sound? Another dark thing. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Oh, I gotta wait. There go. Oh, it's already been spent. What? Hold on. Cedric so seems to be spent. One soul buff can be received during. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Only one at a time. You can't soul bind all your shit uh, in one run. I think when I get to the next floor or something like that, I might be able to unlock it again. Let me see. We're at 500, 828. Try a track. When I'm, uh, how I'm doing damage wise. 807. Watch out, exploding after the fact. Lots of, if you play, um, I'm someone who, who likes to play the seasonal stuff in uh, in Diablo. Well, I did. Um, and, you know, they, like, there's all the different weird effects and everything. Uh-oh. That was weird. Uh, there's all these different weird effects um, that happen, like, you know, post-death um, type things, or just, like, auras and all that, or elites and everything. Like, all that stuff is present here. Like, these guys definitely took the ARPG model and, uh, you know, turned it into this, like, risk of rain, but dungeon crawler type, uh, you know, type of, type of approach and theme. Let's keep going. Here we go. This is what I want. Let's summon this guy. Let's go and get some dudes out. One, two, three. What, oh, I got some fireballs? Let's do it. Let's do it. No nightmare stuff? No. Okay, quick add. We'll get, we'll take whatever we get. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Oh, wow, he took a chunk. Took a chunk. There, he's gonna die quickly, though. Now he's downed. You just hold down left click, do some work. Oh. Oh, 
man, he's whirlwind bullshit. Try and just like throw bombs at him. No, at him. <laughs> Try and get rid of my inventory. <laughs> Take that. Man, he's down. Special attack. Oh, he's so close. Oh, dang it. No. Oh, God. Okay, don't just stand there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I was really close. Okay, don't get too cocky. Keep some distance here. Oh, dang. Dang. Dang! Lots and lots of stuff. Let's just try to pick up as much as we can. Beautiful. Beautiful run. And at any point, I could go back. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, what form am I in? I don't even know. Probably, like, a, I have no idea, actually. Um, let me see. Let's go and open up more chests here so we can get rid of more stuff at the same time. And then we can go back. We try our other class. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Treasure could make you stronger. Okay, so what I'll do is I will... Um, oh, this is pretty good, actually. I think I already have one of these. Uh, Sunder Nature's Axe, Two-Handed Axe. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to arrange this. I'll keep the perps and everything. We'll get rid of the greens. There's no green here that I really am interested in. Uh, even some of the, maybe some of the, no, not some of the blues. We'll get rid of that. There we go. Salvage those. And I'll go through this stuff later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the, the Titan Grip Warrior. Boy, the best, the best. Zug, Zug. Level 22. Now. It's time for, what's the last one? Oh, the ranger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I could go over here because I did a bunch of stuff. Uh, let me see that. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, I have talent points to spend. Two more talent points to spend. Uh, I could get up that tree if I want to. Or, like I said, I could reset uh, and then go at it again, which, you know, we're going to reset, put everything back. 32 talent points, 30,551 soul stones. So, it's, I mean, like the, the possibilities are endless. Absolutely endless. Uh, last one, this fucking guy. Um, did we did we do this? This fucking guy already? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> this fucking guy. Uh, we'll go in. Reach 420. You can see I'm already getting credit for things, right? That I did not do. Uh, these things are those things are account wide. Um, let me see. Do I have any inventory? Nope. Level 16. And then, uh, oh, that's right. I spec I spec into getting a bow to start with. Uh, start my runs with. So that's pretty nice. Um, again, I did die with this character, and then, uh, I ended up losing a bow, and that sucked. I had to fight my way through, like, level 5 through 10 to get, uh, to get, uh, weapons back. So, this is, um, this is your bounty tasks, uh, as it says right there, bounty tasks. Uh, these are bounties. They're basically just small missions you could do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say accept, 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 uh, and then, um, and, and, and as you complete them, you can refresh if you want. It's super cheap, and then you get another, another set. So, We'll do the same thing here. We'll head straight down. Uh, I see. Enjoy a good challenge. Yes, I do. Let's go floor 20. Floor 20. Here we go. So I have a pet. I have a pet and arrows. Coast that, the ghost that cursed at you as it was filled. Oh, that's right. Yeah, some of these guys have curses and everything. I love like the stack of buffs that I have on the upper left corner here. There's a lot of dudes. Try to maximize my arrows here. So the way it works with bows is... You use arrows. Sometimes you pick them back up, back up from the enemy. Um, but if you want to replenish them, you have to get right-click kills. Whoa, okay, these guys hit really hard. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. So you have to right-click. Oh, gosh. Right-click, um, which is a strong attack, a charged right-click, and it will restore three, uh, three or so. It's different per weapon. Um, damn. What does this thing do? Oh, it turns me into... Okay. Um... I'm not doing shit for damage with this thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and swap out of this. Ooh, these guys are rough. Rough. Heal myself. Let me see. Yeah, give, give me some of these guys. Wow. This is, it may, I may not be ready for this. Um, So, I yeah, restore three. So, you want to get the enemies low. Oh, come on. What are you aiming at? Oh, there's an enemy on the other side there. Then you want to right-click in order... Or right-click hold in order to get some arrows back. It's kind of clunky. Uh, I think it's a very clunky kind of setup uh, for arrows, uh, especially considering like if I switch here, I got it stuck on a fucking geometry here. If I switch my pistol, let me reload it. Oh, I, I, oh, there it goes. Good, good, good. If I switch my pistol, I can just right click to reload. I believe there's limited charges on that. Again, talking about yeah, on the right. I think you can see on under uh, mouse one at the bottom there, it says that my I'm limited charges to five reloads on it. So it, it it does insist basically that you um uh, that you I'm out I'm gonna recharge again uh, that you swap weapons the, the game's kind of built around swapping or upgrading your weapons constantly there are skills that will allow you to uh, uh, or that will make it so that you can't son of a bitch you're still alive what the fuck um that will 
give you a chance for have more to have more skill uh, cooldown resets um, on your weapons when you pick them up. So you inflict uh, crush damage. Oh, cool! These weapons are crushed. These guys are freaking ridiculous. Wow, this is this is a challenge. Yeah, see, I get close though. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> so look, you see items flying off me here. It's gone. Uh, I could, I could, well, I could revive. Um, I gained six seventy one. I do have a whole bunch of soul stones, so I can't. I can revive. I don't want to lose my stuff, so uh, I think I will revive. <laughs> this will be the second time I lost. Uh, I lost items with this. My pet is dead. I don't get to choose my pet or anything, which is kind of sad. This is gonna be tough because, like I said, I gotta get close in order to uh, right click and charge this up. There you go, got some arrows from that, 18 arrows. There are talents though, that when you run out of arrows, it will refill X amount, and you can you spend soul stones to increase that amount. So it's not, it's you're not totally beholden to, uh, to just trying to get in close and do like a charge attack in order to gain. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, dang it. You see the struggle? <laughs> you, you see what I'm dealing with here? Let's go get this out. Man, man, oh man, this is a run. It's getting cocky in the first couple of- Oh man, I'm overpowered for this. <laughs> and yet here we are. Am I full? No, I'm not full. Okay. Oh, Jose, is that a- What is this boat? Ooh, lad, that is a huge upgrade. All right, cool. The be the benefits of running, uh, uh, doing a run over your level is how quickly you could get, um, you get some upgrades. Oh man, what a difference. What a difference. Dang. Pooping all over these guys. Bam. Okay, of course I'm also getting pooped on. Um, level 17, ding. Level 17 and a, and a floor 20. Yeah. My gears. Oh, look at these guys shooting at the wall. Yeah, the AI can can use a little bit of an improvement. <laughs> Get on me just a little bit, maybe. Oh, man. That's so funny. Shooting at the wall. Give me a break, guys. Just, man, if you like looter shooters, um... I don't looter shooters, sorry. If you like, if you like looters, like, this is, this is a game, man. Like, this is the one. Um... Just tons and tons and tons of loot, and hopefully a good, a good solid UI overhaul. I'm gonna try to just, just run past all this stuff, see if we can't stack them up, and die. It'd be pretty fun. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and get. Let's see, get the shield up on this guy. Shield, shield. Okay. Oh wow, they just ate that shield. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Oh shit, fucked up. I thought I was, thought I was gonna be fucking Indiana Jones in this bitch. Must healing shit. Woo. Okay, let's go. A good solid right click here. Oh damn it. Oh, I swapped weapons. Oh god, I keep getting frozen. Oh god. <laughs> Kept me locked in. Damn it. Hey, I get to keep my. Uh, I get to keep my. Oh, you fuck. I'm getting up again. That's right. That's right, bitches. I'm back. Here we go. Captain America, this bitch. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got shit for. Uh, finally, I have like garbage for res for consumables. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get back to this. Let's see if we can get. Oh, what is this form here? Ooh, oh, some of my uh, pet. That's cool. Yeah, come on back. Oh shit. That's deadly. Look at that. That's deadly. Deadly. No, oh, right click. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Ah, too easy. Too easy. Don't freeze me, bro. <laughs> there we go. All right. There's a there's an elite over here. Oh, a boss. Oh, that's a fucking yeah. That's a boss. Gotta be careful. She casts. She summons as well. Oh, she fucking polymorphed me. <gasps> oh, polymorph. Dang! Uh, revive 4,000. Yeah. What's 4,000 when you have... Oh, I have 7,000 now. Okay, let's get this guy out. Aim. Get some arrows going. Here they come. Keep him at bay. Okay, good. You put that wall up. I've run out of arrows. Yes, yes, yes. I've noticed. Okay, see if we can do some work. Whoa, man, it's cleaving right through my health. Oh god, I'm trying to jump away. What does this thing do? We're gonna find out. Oh shit, not yet. We get out of this form. Get out of the form. Give me something else, like anything else. There we go. 
Get these guys out. Do some work. Poison. Oh, shit. Is that poison? Oh, it's not poison. Damn it. Two bears. Two bears. There it is. Boom. Holy water marauder. That's what the, the achievement says. I realize that seems kind of weird out of context. <laughs> awesome. Shadow bow. All kinds of good stuff. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. What does this thing do? I don't even know. Okay. Well, it went dark. <laughs> I probably... Health or something? I have no idea. Ah, oh, but we but we did it. We did it, folks. We did it. Go us. Go team. Wow, lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Stuff I'll sort later. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and let me see. Is there any loot here? Let me see. Nature's axe, broken dagger, holy emblem, uh, death. Okay, so nothing. Nothing really. Like yeah, nothing really. That like, you know, I'm not worried about. There we go. So we'll go ahead and cast this. This will take us home. There's a consumable you could pick it though, also take you home. This is a very expensive run in terms of soul stones, but I got a lot of gear out of it. So, um, and also I got some good content. Look at that. So you come here, uh, this guy will say something. It's so difficult to do with such weak souls. Look at this guy, he's a big shit talker. And then over here, I could, could uh, complete, kill anyone over lower level 19. Level 19. And if I want more, I could refresh task and then there you go. Accept, accept, accept. There we go. And then over here is, as uh, I have four talent points to spare. Or to uh, to spend and of course we go back here every time and it's like oh you did all this stuff to ching to ching to ching to ching it's like a slot machine in here look at that ba ding ba ding ba ding oh that's it and that's it so we'll go ahead and set a little fire some bonfire made of stones what might happen if it comes back a light light bonfire solo light add players yeah we can't do that just yet ah, and we'll have a seat here the bonfire will give you a bonus of stamina you can see in the upper left corner my stamina bar will get a little bit longer and um Actually, it looks like it didn't change at all there. Uh, but yeah, that is, that is the game. Uh, Never Return, just a hidden gem. It's It's got some popularity on Steam, but I, I strongly feel like it deserves more. Uh, there's just so much you could do. Uh, if they add multi online multiplayer, it's gonna be just killer. Like, I mean, you know, people are all over Risk of Rain. Uh, people are all over, you know, just very similar games. Um, this is one of those games that you could just get together with a couple people and just go and just start, you know, just start mobbing through uh, some of these dungeons and just try to get as far as you can. Lots of gear, lots of loot. I mean, look at all this stuff I have to go through, right? Um, I love this shit. I love it. Changing gear all the time, trying to get good with like certain things. And then once you run out of charges, you end up just tossing it and getting something new. And it really keeps things fresh. It keeps things really fresh. So that's it. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. The game is called Never Return. Another shout out to my boy Corpse for editing these, editing these things for me. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.